There she is, guys. Look at the ribbons. This plane right here is going to be the winner. Come here, come here. Oh, that's for you, Bucky. What you think about that, Bucky? Yeah, baby. But it's not done yet. It'll be done soon. Well, this ring is probably only got a few more things to do. It's never been done. Yeah, I'm just going to show servos in the moment's done. Stop, tornado coming, tornado coming, tornado coming. Just kidding, it's a train. Done. All done. Yep, they all screwed down. Yeah, I got one more. This one's for the throttle. All right, then we'll let this wing dry, and then you can put the servos in this wing. Yeah, I got two. I I got two two more servos in this box. Okay. Save those for the ring and the flaps. Yep. And then that's about it. Oh yeah, I need that Dremel so I can Dremel this. Yeah. Jim Fuller. Tell Jim Fuller bring the plane back. That's how we build, baby. What's up there, Jim Fuller? Here it is, guys. Check it out. He knew that there was going to be more information to plow through than any human could handle and that artificial intelligence could be a secret weapon. The wolf mansion. An FBI man's dream team was assembled. An investigative psychologist, a war crimes investigator, a criminologist, plus an army of archival researchers. What did all these people with different skills bring to this? They brought a different view. It was all of these skills that help us understand and put into context a crime that happened you know, in 1944. We have to look at things differently. Together, they dove into a familiar story. The Frank family had moved to Amsterdam from Germany to escape the rise of Hitler. They found safety in Holland, where Otto Frank ran a manufacturing business. But then the Nazis invaded in 1940. Two years later, the Franks, Otto, wife Edith, Anne, and her sister Margot, along with four other Jewish friends of the family, went into hiding in an annex behind Otto's warehouse. Today, it's preserved as a museum. Dr. Hedyan Brook, a historian at the Anne Frank House, showed us in. Oh, well, this, this is this a is bookcase. bookcase. That, this is the bookcase. It's used to camouflage the entrance to the hiding place. The bookcase helped protect the Franks, 
as did a handful of Otto's close colleagues at the warehouse who were in on the secret. We're going sights. Mind your head. After the raid, the Nazis took anything that wasn't nailed down. These recreations show what it looked like. Two cramped floors, 761 days, more than two excruciating years indoors. The office workers brought food. Next one's going to be the panel line. The hiding couldn't make a sound during the day. By night, they could listen to the radio, desperately plotting updates from the front of the map. Here's a newspaper clipping from shortly after uh, the date, June 1944. <clears throat> you like my new plane for the next 30? It will be done soon, guys. Stay tuned.